All right, I'll be reviewing brown, green, and more.com. As soon as I arrive here, it says your landscape coach, what's your dream landscape? And then it's got all this stuff going on. And while it says your landscape coach, I'm not getting a personal connection with you. I assume this is you, Jill, this is your brand, and this is how uh, you, you do business and make money. But right now, it's not telling your story. I, like, I want to know who you are, what do you do, and why should I care? Because people like to, you know, they, they like to work with the people that they like. So the more you can really identify with them, I think is really the best approach. And we're going to take a look at some specific examples. But first, I want to just drill down through your site. So I think this whole top area, it probably should be overall redesigned. Because as soon as like, you know, you have this and then you click on it and it takes you away and takes you directly to the blog. So you really need some standard navigation on the homepage. Also, I'd highly likely test this up here. Free three ways to eliminate weeds guide. Eh, I don't know if that's necessarily the best copy. I, I would certainly test, um, you know, uh, three ways to eliminate weeds free guide or uh, eliminate weeds today, get free guide. That's what I, probably I should do. Eliminate weeds guide, get it free and put the button up there, get it free. So, you know, you can definitely do a lot of testing up there and then in this main area. Now in this opt-in area right here, nobody wants to sign up. Nobody wants to get more email. They want to get your eliminate weeds guide. So I would put a, a picture of the book. I would make the, the text actually a little bit easier to read because it's very light. And, and then I would have the call to action say download free. Now these areas at the bottom, I assume that these are the ones that are kind of going to make you the most money, residential versus commercial. I, I would assume I'm going to click on these and then I'm going to get some landscape coaching for residential or commercial. If that's the case, these things should actually be at the top. They should actually be in your navigation, residential, commercial, sign up free, get started, contact me, learn about Jill, about us. And then what about a footer? Uh, yes, you want to have your social icons, but having a clear footer can dramatically help your business. And, you know, these these icons, you know, they're decently designed, but they have no call to action on them. They have no value. So let's just quickly look. Let's just jump into this particular page. Oh, let's not go that way because that's confusing. Let's click on uh, residential over here, down here. So I arrive here and then you have, you know, this big header, this navigation, which is kind of like hidden into the page. And then look, there, there's higher Jill. I, I love these before and after pictures, but like the navigation and the design of the site, it's, it just needs a lot of work. I would actually put a, a, a clear navigation at the top, you know, a, a nice background color behind it. And then I would have before and afters. So it's clearly this is after and then before one right next to each other, just like the classic diet sites. When I started to go through these, you know, garden tips, I click on these and you know, I'm not sure that I'm even on the garden tips page. So I think there's a lot of navigation uh, issues on your site and and it's really missing what are the main parts uh, that that I really want to see. And that's you, Jill. I want to know you. I want to know your story. I want to know why the, these are on Tuesday's to-dos. Right, let's back up. Let's go ahead and click on this landing page person, uh, this landscape personality quiz. This kind of stuff I really like, but it's not presented well at all. This should be like an interactive element where I'm actually taking a quiz and then you're building leads along the way. And, you know, all this stuff is, it, it's decent, but it doesn't mean anything to me. Like these pictures, there's just a lack of value. Also, you know, you have this free, uh, free guide at the top. Why don't you have, you know, a clear footer at the bottom with a picture of the, of the book that you can download. And we'll look at some specific examples. Let me take a look at social. Oh, this takes you away to Pinterest. These took you away to Pinterest too. That takes you away to Pinterest too. Huh. I would, I would make these clear telling people that you're taking them away from their site and going to Pinterest. Let's uh, go ahead and now click on hire Jill. Where's Jill? Oh, there she is down there. Okay. Don't force me to read all this before filling in the contact form. It should say, find out if it's right for you. Contact Jill name, email there. Contact, contact me. Submit contact, continue, continue to submit. 
I think there's some, some issues related to your form. Um, first of all, it's hard, very hard to find, but as soon as you can get there, I think you can improve the credibility here. You also want to put information about you. A lot, a lot of people don't like to talk about themselves very much, but I would certainly put, you know, your credentials, your story, and get people to learn more about you. People like to work with people that they like. Praise. This stuff is the most important. I would get this stuff directly onto the homepage. You want social proof. If you've been featured in you know, magazines or if you ran ads on different sites, I love this. This should be right on the homepage. This picture of you with uh, this child, maybe it's your child, put that right directly on the homepage. It shouldn't say sign up on the picture. It should be directly on the homepage. This newsletter area, this should be in the footer of all of your pages and it should say subscribe free or join free and then have it big. You're Right now you're forcing people to read all this stuff and majority of people don't have that much time. They wanna click, quickly glance and um, come across your site. So moving the testimonials to the very, very front of the, page, front of the site, on the homepage and, and so forth. About, okay, here's some information. Oh, you do have some credentials. I would certainly put, put all this up front. This is some of the most important stuff. They say that a lot of website owners, they put their most important, their most beneficial stuff at the end of the page. So I would find that that really great information, these really great credentials, and I would put it at the very home page and throughout the rest of the, the site. Let's just quickly look on some of these other pages. Composting. It's, it's hard to tell what is a link and what's not. You definitely have some design related issues. You know, I, I, like on the previous pages, those images were links and now these are not links here. And then all of a sudden these black ones are links. So you certainly have some, some design and usability issues. Okay. Let's take a look at some examples. So going back to your homepage, I just brought up some examples. You know, a lot of these guys work on, on their, their sites a lot and they do spend a lot of money, but you can take a lot of these same concepts and apply it to you. So look, as soon as you arrive at the page, it's a picture of him, you know, the site's called his name. So I don't think he needs to put his name on there, but he certainly should have some type of credentials. You know, he created this particular product. So just like you, you're, you're creating this story with the words, he's doing the same story, but then look, he brings it all together in this book. If people can actually get this book for free, it should actually say sign up free or download free. But certainly the picture of the book makes it feel like you're getting something tangible for giving your email address away. And then look, meet Jeff, meet Jill, telling people about him and actually having the uh, credentials. Here's just some of the stuff right into blog post, blog post feature. Oh look, in the footer, a nice beautiful footer with his social media icons. I don't know about the latest tweet and these type of things, but definitely having the, the recent posts, you know, a clear way to get the about us, the, uh, you know, his programs, the contact information, and then also putting the picture of the book again in the, in the footer. Let's take a look at his contact form. Oh, he doesn't have a contact form. So we'll skip over to another one. Here's an example of just another blog. You can see that they have on the sidebar, they have a picture of the book download free. If you actually click into a blog post, you can see that you could scroll through the blog post, but at the very end, look, a picture of the book download free, free guide, call to action, very, very clean and easy to read. Moving over to another site, here's a, another example, free tips and tricks for your full potential, picture of him, about him, uh, getting right into the, the the meat of the content. Another example, Chris Brogan, as soon as you arrive here, you know, telling the story, telling people about him, CEO of who he is, information of going right into opt-in on the sidebar column, definitely recommend that. It should actually say sign up free, get it free, but he doesn't really need to do that because he is very popular. And then moving into This last site, how to be a speaker. So as soon as you arrive here, look, a clear navigation area. You know this is a navigation. You know whatever page you go on, there's always going to be, uh, you know, information up there. Having a, you know, a very simple, you know, these generic sidebars, you may not want that, but they, they certainly do help. 
But I think Jeff Walker's is probably one of the best examples, you know, especially this homepage telling the story. There's also another one. Let's try, let's try writing. Let's try this one. So you arrive at this particular page, a picture of him, a value proposition, free book. Yes, send me my free book. About, very, very clear. So overall, your site, you know, it's there, but it really needs to be improved, the, the, the usability, the user experience, and, and, and really the low-hanging fruit would be just to improve your opt-in areas. The trick to conversion is to interrupt your current traffic patterns. So find out where people are going on your site and then, you know, add better call to actions, add pictures of the book, add um, free. The free is the most popular, the most strongest word online. So all your call to actions, if they're getting something for free, tell them it's free. Also having a clear footer, highly recommend that. But overall, I think your biggest opportunity is to sell your own story. I think this, uh, is that is that a uh, typo? That might be a typo. Um, yeah, selling your own story. I love this stuff on the sidebar here. I would bring that to the, the homepage. I would incorporate your, your testimonials up more up front and really bring in in more or more credibility. You've been doing this a long time and I think you're kind of hiding that fact. Bring that up to the front, show people off and you'll get more work, I guarantee it. And overall, this higher Jill page, I would bring your credentials to the page, put it above the top and let's take a look at these real quick. So let's say if I wanted to actually hire the 997, you're forcing me to read all of this, sign up for landscape. I would, I would actually, I would actually say right here, find out if it's right for you, contact me. You want to get as many people as possible to contact you because more than likely people who don't know who you are, they're not going to come to your site and spend a thousand dollars, um, just out of the blue. You want people to actually contact you. So having contact in your navigation bar, having contact in your footer, and then every place that you're basically selling something, say, find out if it's right for me, contact. Either posting your email address or a link to this particular contact form. I hope this is helpful. Thanks a lot. And if you need, if you do have questions, you can certainly visit my website, alexdesigns.com, and I really appreciate your time. Thank you. Ready to increase your revenue and generate more leads? Visit alexdesigns.com for your custom conversion rate optimization plan.